Welcome back to our tech is and in this video I gonna show how to unlock FRP lock for Samsung devices in 2018. So right now this is Samsung J2 in my hand and the problem is that the phone was stuck on this FRP lock of uh, Android phones. So this asking for the verify your Google account so and it's completely stuck over that there is no way to uh, go into going to home screen. So to fix that there is a very simple way that is the first of all uh, press the home button uh, 3 or 5 times just continuously and then start the talk back and you will see this green uh, see here and then rectangularly uh, do that like that and you will get this option global contact menu we have to select the talk back setting okay so here it is uh, you can select in that way that's talk back setting so open this talk back setting and now turn off the talk back so let's uh, press this home button again uh, four to five times again it's not okay it's not off yet when this green uh, scene appears then uh, press the home button three or five times just continuously and do it very fast so right now the talkback setting is off now open the terms of service and here it is the you can access the chrome browser on your phone so now you require to jump in a website that is uh, uh, here you can uh, just simply go to the, your google uh, website or uh, uh, or you can also I am searching for Google account manager for right now you can also ch directly jump on the given link below the description I have given a link there you can directly jump there and directly open your uh, if, uh, account Google account manager to fix that so right now let's check this uh, Google account manager and and is this working or not so let's check it out okay and let's uh, open it okay now open it and let's install it okay this parsing was failed so it means uh, this math uh, this uh, Android uh, Google account manager will not work for this phone it's varies on different phones like this phone uh, my this Android phones J2 was on lollipop so you have to recognize with uh, that it's a lollipop marshmallow so you have to if you don't know then you require to you have to means try it three different files so right now it's lollipop so I am downloading the lollipop version so and this will definitely work so let's open it and okay it's friendly downloading and started okay it's not yet uh, downloaded okay now it's uh, started downloading open so it is the Google account manager is open now jump into setting and click the unknown sources and install it so after installing it okay it's uh, installing right now okay so here simply done it and you require to okay it's there is no sign to open so just simply click over the done okay so now it's done so now you require to search a quick shortcut maker so again search for it So search for it the quick shortcut maker and search on the Google and you will download on the very first page or you can also follow my website which is given on the link below the description you can check it out there that here it is now simply download it APK and install it Second, okay, open it and setting unknown sources. Okay, install. Now, open the quick shortcut maker. 
so now now the main uh, stage has been started that is required to find the google account manager okay that is google account manager sign uh, find for it and when you find it now you require to find google account under google account manager that is email and password so okay i dropped my phone so so you require to so you require to uh, find the google account manager so So let's find Google uh, Google account uh, manager and under the Google account manager you try to find the Google uh, type email and password so here it is this is type email and password open it and why to uh, under Google account manager you try to select the try okay so just simply uh, again uh, from Google account manager uh, email and password and then select the try and now you require to sign in with your original uh, google account any of your original google account so just simply uh, select the browser browser sign in and in the browser sign in you require to sign in with your any uh, google account which you have or if you don't have then create a google account and just sign it there so i'm just right now signing the password so make it my password of So it's uh, now completed so now simply i have signed in so right now it's on google account manager page so simply back jump in the just simply back and back <laughs> click the back button of your phone simply back again back jump on the startup screen so, so back again and back again so here it is on here on the google verify account page so now uh, so now again uh, next uh, agree agree and you will see now a account will be added there let's check it it's checking right now and so here you can see here it is account added so it means your uh, the account google account which you signed in has been added so now so please next next so it's right now it's completely bypassed now you you can jump on the home screen of the phone you can access everything on the phone so let's skip it let's skip anyway and next and simply okay let's focus skip it skip anyway and setup completed and uh, the setup was completely completed now you uh, from here you can use this email account as your phone for the phone or you can also reset the completely your phone so let me check it to you uh, here simply uh, jump to the backup don't back up it and factory data reset and reset the device now you can reset your device completely so that's it for that video so if you like my video then please click on thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe this video thanks for watching this